Hey, what is up, everybody? My name is Rahul, and welcome to the Cybersecurity Project series, where we'll be using Python to create cybersecurity projects pertaining to networks and other entities. So, in this video, we'll be talking about how you can use KP to read and build packet captures. Now, before we begin off, let us study what KP is, and then we'll be talking about what we'll be expecting from this video. So, it is a Python library used to interact with the network packets. So we can use KP while playing CTF challenges. We can even create your own CTF challenges, create your own packets and do all sorts of other things which can be accomplished with Wireshark, but in your terminal or with the help of your scripts. So this video is divided into three sections. First of all, it will be about installing KP. The second will be about reading packet captures and the third will be building your own capture packets files. So with that, let's begin. So first of all, I would like to show you that this is the packet capture that I have downloaded of the internet. And as you can see, this is its layout while in the while displaying it in the Wireshark. And now let's use KP in our terminal to you know view this. I'll be using Python 3. But before that, let's ls, you will see that there is a dns.capture file. And with that, let's use Python 3. You can also create your own script in using sublime text or any other editor but I'll be using the command line version as well right now. So first of all, we'll have to install KP. So what you can do is sudo pip3 install KP. So because I have already installed it, I do not have to do anything. But for that, for you to install KP, you'll have to do this Python 3. And to import KP, what we will be doing is from KP dot all import asterisk. So this will import all the modules from the KP library. Now, you might not get this warning because I'm on a Mac, so I'm getting this warning. So let's begin. So first of all, we'll be studying how you can read your packet captures. Now there are two methods that we'll be discussing. The first is read packet captures, and the second is write packet captures. For this video, we'll be talking about RDP cap, which is used to read packet captures. So this is our capture file, and let's use RD PC ap which is read packet captures and we'll be using the name dns.cap if it is in in other directory you can use um, the normal syntax for reading it so for example had it been in your c directory you can use c backslash and whatnot so because it is in my current directory so i'm using this so now that i have done it let's use let's just type the name of the file to get an overall or overview of all the packets as you can see the name is dns.cap there are zero tcp packets and 38 udp packets there are zero icmp packets and there's nothing in the others category now let's type in file.show and this will give you an overview of everything and as you can see let me just put it aside and you'll see that the first packet capture belongs to google.com and as you can see this is it google.com the second is also a text file to google.com which is it so this doesn't come out to be a much handy so what we can do is we can read each packet capture one by one so f you can also use a for loop but i'll be using f is equal to file because we had imported it using file and a zeroth index so let's just type f and you'll see the overall summary of it so f dot show will give you the summary again but in a systematic way now if you see here it will show you the beginning with the ethernet then the udp and the dns which is strikingly same when compared with the layout of the uh, of the wireshark which is ethernet first then there is ip then udp then dns so if you see here there is ethernet which is this IP which is this then there is UDP which is this and there's this domain name which is this so now what can we accomplish using this so let's just type in f DNS dot ID you can get individual um, responses using this you can create a create a script to read individual ID sometimes or many a times you'll find the fragments of each flag in different um, in different IDs or opcode or whatnot. So this is a section about how you can you know 
read packet captures you can also alter packet captures for example dot id equals to one two three one two three so if now i were to type in f dot show you will see that i have successfully altered the id parameter of dns so this is a very powerful library that you can use to manipulate packet captures and um, read packet captures now in the next uh, in this section what we will be doing is we will be creating a new or building new packets from scratch now we know that the, the file pack begins from ip so if you want to have an ip uh, header in the beginning what you will be doing is let's say p is equal to ip and then then in the next section what you want to have is you have udp so you can type in udp but if you want to have tcp you can also have tcp as well so now if i were to do p dot show you will see that i get a dummy packet so now what i can do is i can create my own packet captures and even modify them so let's say tcp dot sport which is this parameter and i will be setting is as nothing now if i were to type in p dot show you will see that i have successfully changed this to nothing so with this let's move on to the next section where we'll be doing some advanced stuff so let's just say ip is equal to we'll be setting the destination po on uh, destination ip as 1.2.3.4 setting a udp with a d port which is destination port as 1234 and you can also type in dns and if i were to type in p dot show you will see that i have a dns packet here and we have udp which we created with and we have an ip so and the ip destination is 1234 this did, did not get displayed because this is supposed to be a string parameter so let's just type just set it as string and let this say p dot show and as you can see the 1234 gets reflected so this is a very powerful library that you can use to create packet captures and read packet captures so thank you guys this is it for the video